Aloha, and welcome to this week's edition of Business in Hawaii. I'm Byron Riddle, and we are broadcasting live from the Think Tech Studios in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in, we are at www.thinktechhawaii.com. You may also subscribe to our programs and get our emailing list at that site as well. The theme of business in Hawaii is the theme of business is Hawaii, and share with you stories of local business by local people. Our guests will share with us how they are able to build successes in our sometimes challenging business environment. In the Think Tech studio with me today is Jean-Paul Gideon, president of JPG Hawaii. Jean-Paul, welcome to Hold the Show. Aloha. Thanks for having me here. Super excited. So basically, you know, you're here today. So let's talk about you. First of all, why don't you tell us more about yourself and then we'll talk more about your company and what you do. Okay. Well, my name is Jean-Paul Gideon, president and CEO of JPEG Hawaii and JPEG Media. Born and raised in Hawaii, grew up in Hawaii Kai. I've got three brothers. Two of them are in the business with me. And so far, we've had a, a good ride and went to all the public school route from Kahala, Kamiloiki, New Valley, Kaiser, and KCC. I think so far, it's uh, turned out a pretty good product. Excellent. So what made you decide to go into business for yourself? Super interesting story. So I grew up in Hawaii Kai, like I said, on the golf course of Queensgate. So our backyard was the golf course. And we would go and play on the golf course, and it was so fun. 1988, Nintendo was popping. So we said, Mom, can we get a Nintendo? She's like, yeah, buy it yourself. <laughs> so my brothers and I looked around like, this is expensive. How are we going to do it? We have no jobs. One day we're playing on the golf course, and we saw a bunch of these golf balls at the pond where the golfers lose it. And we looked. We said, oh, my goodness. We could get those balls for free, clean them up, and sell them right back to the golfers who lost them. So we did. We got those golf balls, we started selling them to the golfers, just post it up right at the, at the green or the tee off. They would buy it. That was our first, our first uh, taste of financial freedom. So we bought the Nintendo, we bought the games, and then got really addicted to playing video games. That's a fantastic story. Yeah. So why don't you tell me about JPEG and what JPEG's all about? So JPEG, it started out as a clothing company actually called Ideal in 2001. Surfing and skateboarding, just graduated from Kaiser High School. And I just wanted to go surfing with my friends, make music and designs, and create art. A uh, short time after that, two years into the business, Roy's Restaurant said, hey, I need 1,400 custom shirts. I know you guys don't do that because you have your own clothing brand, but can you do it for us? I, a light bulb went off. I'm like, oh my goodness. We could make custom graphics and shirts for people because they like what we do. A little bit of money off a lot of companies, mm -hmm. JPEG was born. And now we're a full service design, printing, graphic installation, and video production company. Video production as yeah, well. Yeah, video production. You may have seen some of our stuff. YouTube. I, I'm familiar with some of your stuff, yes. Instagram and Facebook. So how did you decide to partner with your brothers? That's an interesting story as well. Super interesting. A lot of people are saying, how can you work with your brother? <laughs> Or your family, this is not typical. Absolutely not. But when we first started, we were printing t-shirts in our kitchen in Hawaii Kai. So my mom was helping me. We're both night owls. So like 2 a.m., we're printing t-shirts in the kitchen. And eventually I'm like, I knew I gotta pay her. She wasn't taking any money. So the closest person to me was Brandon. Brandon Gideon, my youngest brother, my younger brother. I brought him into the business and said, hey, I've got an order for $1,300 worth of stickers. We bought a sticker making machine and we made those stickers. That was a first job and it paid for the machine. And Brian and I made a little money. Said, you know what? This is good. We've always had business together. Now we can get more serious. It was just proximity and it's necessity and trust. So let me, let me, how do you actually manage the family relationships and the work relationships? I mean, that's got to be a challenge in and of itself. It is. Let's just say um, it's never a dull moment. But we did do a lot of um, fighting as kids. So we all know each other's boundaries and our strengths. So now we use those and we said, well, if we can all work together and, and be free to control our destiny, let's do it. And w luckily, even though it's not perfect, we definitely manage it well. And I love working with my brothers. So let me move on a little bit. Um, 
when you're in doing this, what would you tell someone to look for if they were actually looking for a business partner or to create their own business? I would say two things. And I see this all the time, and as a young entrepreneur, I am just seeing opportunity everywhere. Sometimes I want to go and do everything, but I got to bring it back, focus it. So I always say this, if you find a pain point or a need or, you know, you hear people say, oh, you know, I wish I had so-and-so. I wish I could get video for my business. I see it's so popular. So, so many small businesses in Hawaii that would like to tell the story. Mm -hmm. You know, you see people of family business, businesses, you know, luckily the second generation comes in and they're on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube. And now you've got these older businesses which are now skyrocketed up because they took advantage of that. So you see like video production or a, a need. If you can have a need and we can fulfill that need, whether it's us or someone, that's an opportunity. And if you like it, try it. If it doesn't work, try something else. So what is it that really inspires you then? Where, where, do, you, where do you get this inspiration from? Oh, right here. This is the, <laughs> this is the one. It's three letters. D A D. My dad. Growing up, my dad is always an entrepreneur. He would open all the different hotels around the world with the Regency Hotel chain. So what is now the Marriott in Waikiki, he was assistant general manager in Waikiki. Before that, it was Jakarta. Before that, it was Fiji. Before that, it was Australia and London and Germany. He's been all over the world and he landed in, Ho in Hawaii. Hmm. Started a car uh, transportation business. And then he had rental properties. He said, well, I got the people living in my rental properties from New Zealand. Why don't I start a tour business to take them around town? Hmm. Well, I have the tour business here. Why don't I have a, a little airline to fly to the neighbor islands? And he just saw opportunity. He always told me, John Paul, be your own boss. Be the landlord. <laughs> he told me that when I was I young. That. I was like five and a half. <laughs> I love and that. And from then, he always would tell me, be the boss. Be the landlord. And it just drilled in me. And I just loved it. So everything that you do, what do you say is your greatest success? Oh, my goodness. My greatest success. That's a, that's a loaded question. I can tell you what I feel right now. Okay. It's my daughter, my daughter Sophie. She just turned 13 months. Hi, Sophie. And my wife. I thought, uh, right now I'm 36. I was thinking I was going to be, just work really hard. I was going to be an old dad and probably not play sports, but be able to provide enough money for them. The greatest success is meeting my wife, Holly. Immediately. I had the same friends, but we didn't know each other. Immediately fell in love. We have a daughter, and now I'm looking at my daughter. I'm like, oh my goodness. Now I understand why people, the grandparents are so happy. Or parents. This is a challenge. Believe me, I haven't had sleep in a year. <laughs> but that, that right there, I'm going to make sure that I do my best to make a mark on the world. And if it's not through me, it's going to be through her. Mm. Yeah. So you want her to get into the business and follow through with you after? <laughs> Though I would love it, I just want her to do what she wants to do. Mm. And you know, if it's art or making pottery or, or paintings or being a CEO, go for it. I'm going to support her all the way. Well, your wife, Holly, is pretty talented, too, so yeah, that's pretty nice. She's got a lot of opportunities. Let's go with something else, then. What would you say was your biggest failure? Ooh. I could tell you right now. I was told something that from guys who did some business in the past where if you, if you don't have it in writing, contract, if you don't have it in writing, you don't have it. And even if you do, trust, but verify. Mm. I could say I, I've done some business arrangements that didn't work out so well mm -hmm. where I should have you know, crossed my T's, dot my I's, mm -hmm. and my lowercase J's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do you overcome failures? What, what, what steps do you take to move on? Don't look back. Looking back, it hurts your neck too much. Mm -hmm. Just looking forward for opportunity. Because mm -hmm. there's so much out there. Mm -hmm. And with the internet, it's just crazy. Sometimes I can't sleep. It's so much opportunity. <laughs> but you got to bring it back. You know what I mean? No, I do. Seriously. I know exactly what you mean. And I watch Think Tech. And I see what these guys are doing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, they have had success. Like Rusty and Tennis or Juno with Cold Pancake House family business. Right. Subway. Like, it's all over. Right. Right. Tune into these.
So I'm going to switch up a little bit now. Um, let's go ahead. I know you brought some slides and some examples of some of your work. So Absolutely. let's go ahead and get into some of that. Yeah. First, I want to talk about some of the, so we're a full service design, printing, video production, advertising company. Just say, what is that? What do you do? It's so much. Well, first of all, we do a lot of 3D signage. Whether you're doing signs for your business, it's storefront signage, or for the one you're seeing on the screen right now, this is at Cycle City, down off Nimitz. They needed a big mural for the wall. So it looks like it's metal, like shiny metal. Mm -hmm. It's actually formed plastic. Mm. It's hollow inside and it's light, easy to do. Mm. But we've been able to work with a lot of companies that, growing up in Hawaii, these are just iconic brands. JN, Cycle City, Velocity. And as we've progressed, I, I like what we do in the malls. And you've, you've had experience in this too, mm -hmm. wall wraps. Mm -hmm. When you're going through the mall and you're seeing these larger than life images, you're just saying, how the heck do you make that? Because we're used to seeing small printers, right? Mm -hmm. That print paper. Mm -hmm. You see these massive walls and you're just like, oh my goodness, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the, that's something cool that we have right now. Yes, I, I, I know. And you're proud to do it because you see your art and your work out there. I mean, one of the things yeah. that I always alluded to is, you may not know it was my work, but I know you've seen it. Absolutely. And, you know, and I see some of my stuff that's still out there 10, 15 years later. So, yes. That's a pride in there, right? It is. It really is. It's, and it's nice to see that it's held up so well. So, Quality. Quality, always. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Don't forget it. You do get what you pay for, so <laughs> don't go cheap. So well, let's move on to some of the other slides. What else do you have? Cool. We have been blessed with the sun in Hawaii. But we've also been blessed with the sun. So we do tents, outdoor tents and event displays. We just got finished at the food, lodging, hospitality trade show at the Blaisdell. Mm -hmm. We've done about 20 different booths in there. On the screen now, you'll see some of the alcohol brands that we support, the Absolutes, the Malibus, the um, Avions, Jamesons. Just a lot of things we've done throughout the years. We found that companies wanted to work with JPEG because we understand their brand guidelines, we have their logos, and they said, hey, can you do our signage? We would do that. Oh, I have an event coming up. Can you do a table cover and a backdrop and some retractable banners? Said, yeah, we could do that. So we would always test things on ourselves when we would do trade shows or any sort of thing that we did. And if it's good, and people are asking for it, we release it. Uh, something really cool is the different brands we've been able to work with. Mm -hmm. Growing up, everyone wants to work with McDonald's. Whether you're supplying something, well, at least me in the world, I want to work with McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So we do, you've definitely seen our work. Every single McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Look at the window graphics. Mm -hmm. JPEG has touched those. I didn't even know you did those. Installed those, I've yeah. seen them all over the place. Yeah, exactly. You see those big trailers that have those cool, like, billboards on them mm -hmm. with, you know, the French fries or the burgers. We do those. Polynesian Cultural Center buses, we do those. You see the displays inside Walmart. We've been blessed enough to do the Walmart ones that recently, it was Avengers. We just installed Toy, uh, Toy Story 4. Next coming up, foreshadowing, it has to do with the lion and he might be a king. So, um, why don't you tell, how many employees do you have? Currently we have 12. 12. Well, yeah, at the beginning of the year it was four, uh, full time, and then we had subcontractors and stuff, mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. there's just more demand, so it's ramping up right now and we're, we're looking for a few good people. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're almost getting ready for a break here. So, but I wanted to just uh, kind of let you talk about something. Go ahead and tell me something more about some of the things that you do. So something I'm, I'm really passionate about, um, you know, the topic of the show is business in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to talk about entrepreneurship in Hawaii. Sure. Growing up, starting my own business at a very young age, I've been fortunate to grow or to be in, invited to be part of what's called Entrepreneurs Organization. Mm -hmm. In Hawaii, it's called EO Hawaii. Mm -hmm. You can go to EO, two letters, eohawaii.org. And it's a global network of over 14,000 entrepreneurs. The minimum requirements to get in is a million dollars in annual sales. So you're now, and you gotta be a founder or you know, uh, controlling interest in that company. So I thought I was gonna come in and it was going to be something else. But what it really turned out to be is a peer-to-peer -peer mm -hmm. learning and experience sharing. So Juno, who was on the show, Juno Chung, co mm -hmm. Pancake House, mm -hmm. he was just in my office yesterday. Mm -hmm. He was sharing some of the things he does in his company to really 
organize the workflow and keep everyone accountable. I was like, oh my goodness, this is it. So you get to learn from a lot of the major CEOs in town who are part of the club and now part of my friends. I learned from them, I learned from experience. And we help out the younger generation, what's called our GSEA, is the Global Student Entrepreneurs Award. Mm -hmm. Every year we choose one college student that has a, a minimum amount of sales and they compete in the global competition. So Hawaii is a region, you compete in Hawaii, then you'll go to um, the US and then you compete globally. You can win a scholarship and all the support you need from the mentors at the club. Fabulous. So it's almost like a, a mentoring. You have people you can rely on on one to one, and then uh, you're actually continuing that on to the next generation. Absolutely. EOHawaii.org, and it's entrepreneurs organization. Super, super beneficial. Mm. Yeah, mentally, you know, networking wise is, is great too. But it's got a real cool thing. It's a no solicitation policy. So if we're members together, mm -hmm. I'm not pitching you to buy what I'm selling. I mean, you could buy it. But I love that no one is pitching each other. It's this real connection. It's not just business all the time. That's very important. So important, yeah. So um, what, what would you see is the, the secret of your success? I mean, going to it, I mean, what, what is it that makes you successful? Marcus Lamona said this. He's the, on the TV show, hit TV show, The Profit. There's the, the people, the process, and the product. I seriously think our, like our service, personally in our company, mm -hmm. all of us, we want to be at work. We like each other. We have fun. So like the culture is there. Plus, we all strive for excellence. You know, we want to be successful in what we're doing. And the customer. It's all about the customer. All about your employees, too. Don't get me wrong. But at the end it is about the customer and you know, fulfilling their needs, what they need, in a good way, solving those problems. Okay, let's stop there. We've got to take a quick break. So we'll be right back. Please join us. And uh, we're going to take this short break. And this is Business in Hawaii. See you back here shortly. Thank you. Hey, aloha, everyone. And welcome to the Think Tech Hawaii studio. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii. We air here every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Hawaii time, trying to bring you issues about security that you may not know, issues that can protect your family, protect yourself, protect our community, protect our, our companies, the folks we work with. Uh, please join us. And I uh, hope you can. Um, maybe get a little different perspective on how to live a little safer. Aloha. Aloha, y'all. My name is Mitch Ewan. I'm from the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute, and I'm the host of Hawaii, the state of clean energy. We're on every Wednesday at four o'clock, and we hope that we have interesting uh, guests who talk to us about various energy things that are happening in Hawaii, all the way from PV, the windmills, the hydrogen, close to my heart, electric buses and electric vehicles. So please dial in every Wednesday at four o'clock on Hawaii, the state of clean energy. Aloha. Welcome back. This is Business in Hawaii. With us today is Jean-Paul Gideon, president of JPEG Hawaii. So, Jean-Paul, I mean, we've been talking about a lot of the stuff that you do. Um, you know, you're into doing a lot of the print, but you also mentioned doing some advertising. Why don't you show us some examples and tell us more about that? Absolutely. I'd love to, I'd love to help with that. So, as we know, billboards are restricted in Hawaii. Thank goodness, because we can see the mountains, we can see the ocean. It's a beautiful thing. We found companies still want to advertise and be seen without a home advertising. So. Being inspired by where do people go, we expanded into an out-of-home advertising division of our company called JPEG Media. That's mm -hmm. jpgmedia.com. See what we do. One part that we, we do is um, we've partnered with Time Supermarket. So all of the 23 locations throughout the state, and we offer supermarket advertising. One thing you'll see here on the screen, that's a grocery divider. Traditionally, you just separate your groceries with it, and that was a great thing. We wanted to innovate on that a little bit. so. What I brought here with me is actually, it's a sample that I, I designed. We went ahead and, oh, there we go. There we go. So I designed this, got it custom manufactured and patented, not only in the US, but Australia, Japan, European Union, um, Canada. And the great thing about this, I mean, everyone's at the checkout, you're just spending three to five minutes there. We made a design where you could slide your ad out. 
and change it out. As simple as you're changing out the prices in, in the supermarket, and then you could just slide your ad right back in. That's fantastic. Super fantastic. I love it. So right now we have uh, realist, you know, realtors, dentists, National Guard participates in this, events. I love that. And they're saying, hey, we really like advertising there, but can we have some other way that we can track it, like for restaurants? I said, perfect. We've got receipt advertising. Mm -hmm. So on the back of the receipts, you can go ahead and put your coupon or some anything, an advertisement you want or a recruitment. A lot of people use it for um, recruiting for employees mm -hmm. or say Jack in the Box advertises with us. You get free curly fries or Jamba Juice or Premier Auto Detailing. So a lot of things that you want that direct response and trackable um, component. And you can target your area by uh, geography. I want to be in Kahala. We've got a Kahala Times there. You want to be in town? We've got a King Street Times. So you really can geo-target where you want to hit communities within a three to five mile radius. If you're a business in that area, that's where your business is really coming from, the local people there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's fabulous because that's exactly what I was going to ask you. <laughs> I mean, how do you, how, and you know, it really depends on where the individual is or the store or the market or wherever it is, and they can go just to that one location. They don't have to go to everything. Yeah. So being in a supermarket, are you in several supermarkets or are you still growing that I mean, I'm assuming this is a fairly new part of your business. Yeah, pretty new. So we have all 23 time supermarkets right now, mm -hmm. and we're actually looking to get into more. Mm -hmm. So if there's anyone out there watching, join with us. What we do, we actually bring the value. We provide these for free to okay. the store, and then the store is going to go ahead and get the value by they can put their own graphic in there or revenue from the sales. We'll share the revenue with them. It's a win-win. So we come to clean up the, the checkout lane and... They can make some money, we can make some money and have a fun time. Everyone's looking to make a little extra to the bottom line, right? Absolutely. I want to talk about something too. Okay. The supermarket is one component, mm -hmm. but the shopping mall. Mm -hmm. The shopping mall advertising has been really great for us. Born and raised in Hawaii Kai, we would go to Coco Marina, we'd go to Hawaii Kai Town Center. I said, if I could just get one mall, you know, mm -hmm. one supermarket where we used to go. Coco Marina, that was actually my first job, was at Subway. Coco Marina. Now we've partnered with them all. We saw advertising there, and it's very successful. I probably saw you there when I was on my way to Sandy's or back. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, this is this is all fantastic and very interesting. So, if someone were to want to advertise, they could contact you at just go to jpegmedia.com. That's jpgmedia.com. Give you access to everything all of our advertising. You want to see everything we do. Okay. The main one, our company is JPEG Hawaii. JPGHawaii.com. Spelled out. And so, you know, who, who are, can you name some of your clientele or who, who do you work with? Are you working primarily with larger companies, smaller companies, mom and pops? Who's, who, who do you go to or how do they find you? It's cool. A lot of people find us on Instagram. So, really? Yeah, we're on Instagram and Facebook. So for, we have two different accounts. Our, our printing, design side is JPEG Hawaii. The advertising is JPEG Media. It's two separate accounts. Mm -hmm. So you'll get the, the national agencies reaching out because they're searching for something. Mm -hmm. We use hashtags a lot. Mm -hmm. We go ahead and we comment on things that those agencies are doing. So we engage with them. And a tip I'd like to give for any, anyone looking to start a business or they're, they're, they want to sure. do some sort of cause is to really get involved in the conversation. Mm -hmm. I know we've talked a lot about, about what we do. Mm -hmm. But I want to give advice, practical, that what other people could do. Mm -hmm. You have an idea. Say you are selling honey. Mm -hmm. One of our neighbors sells honey, mm -hmm. Hawaiian honey. Get your, get your domain name, mm -hmm. hawaiianhoney.com if you have it. Mm -hmm. Make that domain name match up with your Instagram profile and your Facebook profile and your YouTube channel. Get involved. Search the hashtag honey. And then you'll see all the honey suppliers from all over the world and all the growers and the farmers and the keepers. Engage with them. Talk with them. See what organizations are a part of. Is there a global honey organization? Talk to them. And then you start building your following. And as you can see, people will reach out to you that you never knew existed. That's one great thing about Think Tech Hawaii. I would watch this. I, I did not ever think I'd be on the show. But I watch it all the time. That's fabulous. That's a great tidbit, too. And I'm sure anyone that's out there that needs to have an idea, that's, that's a fantastic. And at least it gives them the roots. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot more that you need to do, but 
That's a great start. Yeah, start. So, how much does hustling play into your success into in, in, into your business? We hustled golf balls. Let's just say we started out <laughs> selling golf balls, you know, and that was just the hustle. And hustle is a good word, not the word of like hustling to, you know, pull something no. over on someone, but the hard work and the grind. I think that's what really separates it. I love to work Saturday and Sunday. I love to work late because I don't get bothered by everything else going on in the world. But anyone who's done anything great has worked super hard at it. The overnight successes, 20 years in the making. Exactly. That's, that's really what it is. Uh, it's not just boom. They worked hard behind the scenes, multiple jobs, doing other things to become successful yeah. in what they wanted. Um, I'm still on that journey too, though. I haven't reached the top. You're, yeah, but Only you're... Only halfway to Olympus right now. And you got your brothers to help you out. That's wonderful. Absolutely. So let me ask you this. If you weren't working at JPEG, what do you think you would be doing? It would be along the same lines of what we're doing right now. Talking to people, helping inspire others. But throughout our whole company, what we do, it's all about art. You know, we're designing and we're printing, we're making signs and advertising. That's all art. So I really like to do pop art. Like, okay, I'm sorry. I'll take other people's logos, like the Playboy <laughs> bunny or the Mickey Mouse mm -hmm. head, and I, I merge the two together. So now we got Mickey Mouse and some Playboy ears. I love doing these mashups, you know, just taking things and changing them. Or I love making music, writing rhymes, rapping, freestyling. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really how I express myself creatively. Okay, so... Um, what do you think was your biggest hurdle or challenge in owning a business? This is a tip for everyone listening out there. Find the right professionals to work with. Get a good CPA. We had someone doing our taxes, wasn't so good. Paid a lot of fees. Good CPA, get a good lawyer who has a relevant information and is a professional in the area that you need. Ours is real estate and advertising. Get that. Build the team behind you. Build the right people and pay the price. Pay the cost, don't go cheap, because you're gonna get those cheap results. Yeah, be legit, sign up with the companies, stay HCE compliant on eHawaii.gov. Mm -hmm. If you wanna work in Hawaii, be legit, sign up with the government, go to sam.gov, get your DUNS number. There's all these behind the scenes things no one knows about, mm -hmm. workers comp, like, mm -hmm. uh, do yeah. it, be legit. All right, well, we've got a few more minutes here, so is there anything you would like to close with? Uh, any other tidbits or? Acknowledgements or yeah, I just I want to throw this in there. You may see this on the road, and I love to see our 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 vehicles on the road. So we have a vehicle advertising. I know we want to talk about. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is a local dentist. Mm -hmm. They do a corporate sponsorship. We get them on the vehicles, and they do the route seven days a week. It's a great way to get out there. I'd say what I what I like to say is um advertising like out of home is a help. It's a driver to help get you online. So if you see something in the grocery store, hopefully it sparks you to want to go online to Instagram or YouTube and find out more about the company. Everything works, and everything works together. So don't focus on just one thing. Expand what you're looking at, and you'll find a success. And with that, thank you very much. We're out of time. Thank you to Jean-Paul for joining us, and a big thank you to the production staff and everyone here at the studio. If you would like to be a guest on the show, please email your information to shows at thinktechhawaii.com. Business in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 p.m. We look forward to seeing you here next week. Thank you very much. Thanks. For